Hi there, Sherry from Side by Side Enclosures. We're here today with the Polaris XP 1000 Razor. Um, we're going to uh, go over the installation instructions. This one in particular, he, he bought the uh, Fastback, and so we're going to do it with the Fastback and with the regular back window. Um, when you get your enclosure, you'll get two side panels like this. Um, you'll get Velcro. If you order snaps, you'll also get snaps. The first thing you're going to want to do is clean your machine. Make sure you take some rubbing alcohol any place that you're going to put Velcro. Clean it real good. Make sure there's nothing oily on it. And then we'll give you some adhesive promoter. And so when you start, what you're going to want to start with is putting Velcro right along this edge of your roll cage. Every place you see a flat area, you can cut little pieces to get it down along your windshield. So once you have that done, you'll also, I'm going to do this back, back here. What you'll also want to do is run it down your roll cage in the back here too. So once you get all that Velcro installed, what you'll do is you'll just simply unzip this section. Just lay this one aside for right now. There's a lot of straps on it, so they get all hung up. Okay, so with these straps, what you're going to want to do is make sure they're open. Later, you'll wrap them around your roll cage. But for now, if you make sure they're open, and one goes to either side of the roll cage, you can move it front and back to adjust it. So what I would do is you'll see a seam right in here. And if you just have the seam going down this center roll cage, right on the center, take it up and then just start attaching to your Velcro. Again, leaving your straps, one on the top, one on the bottom. You go ahead and stretch it to the back. And then you'll have straps that'll go around the back of the roll cage here. So you'll kind of know if you're hitting them correctly if these straps wrap around. And you tuck it up right along the roll cage. And then you'll do the same for the front. Again, putting the straps top and bottom. You just run it right along the edge of your roll cage and down the front. And this gives you a good general idea on how the enclosure should fit. So after you do that, what you want to do is go ahead and take the section you want to zip. And you go ahead and zip it on. I'm short, so I need to use a step ladder. I'm going to zip it on just like that. And that way, you'll be able to see if you got it where you want it. You know, this zipper edge should come right down the edge of your door, which we hit it. Wise. What I do with the Velcro is I just put little tabs where I want them. And then if you want to add more Velcro, you can just add more little tabs. And if you have the snaps in it, you'll wait to drill any holes until you have everything adjusted exactly where you want it. So at this point, you just pull everything down. And I can see I'm a little high right here, so I might want to go ahead and adjust it to drop it down. Oh, that's what kept me high was this back piece here. There we go. So a lot of it is in the adjustment across this on how everything else is going to fit. 
and you can just go up and make those adjustments as you go. So once you have it where you want it, at that point, you'd want to wrap these around, each of these around the roll cage and complete the installation. And again, if you have a hard back window, your back section would come and wrap around like that. So once it's installed to get in and out of the doors, you simply unzip. reach in, I couldn't find the handle, and you open your door. Now this window will unzip like this. Then you'll get in and zip it back up. For the back door, it's the same thing. Simply unzip it. Reach in. Your door will fully open. Once you're in, Simply just send it back up. And then also, if you're out and you, you get more, all of the doors will unzip fully. You can take them off, roll them up, and put them in a storage bag. And then, the other neat feature we have here is... If you're trailering or going, or you don't need your enclosure for the summer, and you don't want these flaps on, you can simply take and put this. This whole section comes off, and all you're left with is this little flap. Doesn't get in your way. You know, it's all strapped down once you have it installed. So then if you're out and you have your sides, it starts raining, you can just, in a matter of seconds, take this. You don't have to uninstall the whole enclosure like you do a lot of, of other ones. I got a caught on my Velcro. Simply take that. Zip it back on, attach your back back down. Now I have the door, the window out of this one, but and you're ready to go. A lot of a lot of enclosures don't have that feature. You have to, if you want to take the side off, you have to completely uninstall it. This saves you a lot of time. Again, Sherry from Side by Side Enclosures, www.sidexsideenclosures.com, or give us a call 724. 614-7660. Thank you and have a good day.